Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at quadratic word problems. Uh, this is going to be part one of N series. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so one of the first things that I like to do with word problems is that um, I like to actually draw diagrams just to kind of get an idea of what's happening here. And in this particular example, what we have got here is we've got a rectangle. So just draw a quick little rectangle. And what do we know? We know the length is five centimeters longer than its width. So imagine if this is the width and we actually say length is, um, you know, you can also call it base and height, doesn't really matter. But what we do know is that length is actually five centimeter more than the width. So I could rewrite the length as width plus five, all right? So that's the first part of it. The second part of it is that we've actually got area is equal to 50 centimeters squared. Now we know that area of a rectangle um, is equal to base times height, or in this case, we can actually say length times width. So we can kind of say area is equal to 50, and then length is equal to W plus five, multiplied by W, which is the width itself. So at this point, we need to expand um, the brackets, but what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to re rewrite this. So I'm going to rewrite this as W in front and W plus 5. So at this point, what I need to do is W times W and W times 5W, which I'm going to carry on here. So 50 equals W times W is W squared. W times 5 is 5W. Um, and at this point, I'm going to bring 50 to the right-hand side. And when I do that, it will become minus 50. Uh, and then I've got a straightforward uh, quadratic here. So I'm just gonna go factorize this. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to minus 50 and add to five. So in this case, it's gonna be positive 10 and minus five. Now, when I actually do positive 10, so W plus 10 equals to zero, I actually get W equals to negative 10. And in the second situation, I've got W minus five equals to zero and then W is equal to positive five. Now, it's really important to kind of notice that um, when you have W equals negative 10, we actually have to reject the solution, all right? So we're gonna ignore uh, W is equal to negative, um, W can't be negative 10. Um, and we're just gonna write a little um, statement as width can't be negative. Uh, therefore, width is equal to 5, and then the length is equal to width plus 5, so it's going to become 5 plus 5, which equals to 10. So we've actually calculated the width, which is, uh, what is it? We've calculated the width, which is 5, and we've also calculated the length, which is 10. All right, um, keep kind of keep yourself um, tuned in. Uh, so there are going to be a few more questions popping up like this with different types of quadratic word problems. Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.